Hello, my seventh grade scholars. I'd like to go over just a couple of things. This shouldn't be more than about two minutes about Cyrano de Bergerac. Cyrano de Bergerac was a real person. What? Yeah, he was a real person. I'll tell you more about that later. Edmund Rostand, who wrote Cyrano de Bergerac, wrote it in 1897. So here's a piece of information right here. So he lived in Paris, France, and he wrote it in 1897. Well, the play actually takes place in 1640 and 1655. That's Act 5. So 1640, which is way earlier than his time. So he's writing a historical piece um, during his uh, own uh, time. So the play, as we know, takes place um, in, in Paris at this hotel. It starts at the hotel. But some, some things to know about this time period is that there's the Thirty Years' War going on in France. And this is a war that's fought against the Holy Roman Empire, mainly over trade routes. France also reaches its height of art, and I mentioned this briefly in Act 1, the, uh, of art and literature and philosophy, and this sets the standard for the rest of Europe. France is it. Cardinal Richelieu is recently has recently founded this French Academy. And the French Academy is a society of intellectuals and writers. And this becomes really important as uh, Cyrano is a writer and so is Ragano and a lot of the other poets during this, this time. Christian doesn't feel very smart. He doesn't feel like an intellectual. And he knows that Roxanne is very, very into that. Um, he's a nice guy. He's just not that bright or or well-versed in these things. So literature and poetry are discussed at intellectual gatherings called salons, which were popular among educated aristocratic women like Roxanne and usually took place in the homes of such women. So Roxanne will join one of these um, salons in, in the play. And um, this is a, an important part of understanding uh, Christian and Cyrano and uh, Roxanne 